Hello, welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. This is day 27 of Summer Under the Stars. Since August 1st, we've devoted each day's programming to a different star. Since early this morning, that star has been perhaps the signature actor of Hollywood's golden age, a singular talent with a screen presence to match, Humphrey Bogart. Superstardom came relatively late in Bogart's career. He'd been making films for more than a dozen years before breakout performances in High Sierra and The Maltese Falcon, both of those films released in 1941. His defining role came shortly afterward, the 1942 Warner Brothers classic Casablanca, the greatest studio film ever made. Just a couple of years later, Bogart began to share his fame and his life with a young actress, becoming part of a team on and off the screen known as Bogey and Bacall. Tonight's lineup begins with the first of four movies Bogart made, with the actress who became his wife and a powerful star on her own. From Warner Brothers in 1944, this is the screen debut of Lauren Bacall, To Have and Have Not. The screenplay by Jules Firthman and William Faulkner is technically based on Ernest Hemingway's eponymous novel, but only a few characters survived the adaptation from page to screen. The story was deliberately crafted to capitalize on the success of Casablanca. In this case, the action is set in the Caribbean during World War II. Bogart plays an American fishing boat skipper based in Martinique, where he's asked to help the French resistance smuggle people onto the island. McCall is a down-on-her-luck singer who captures Bogie's attention. Casting Bogart to star in To Have and Have Not was a done deal. The leading role was essentially written for him. But director Howard Hawks took a risk casting McCall. Hawks' wife, Slim Hawks, spotted a 19-year-old model, Betty Bacall, on the cover of Harper's Bazaar magazine, showed it to her husband. They both saw something in her. After meeting her, Hawks renamed her Lauren. She'd already changed her last name to Bacall, cast her in this picture, then made her role significantly larger. The age difference between Bogey and Bacall was great. He was 44, but their chemistry was and is palpable. Hawks signed Bacall to a seven-year contract. The following year, 1945, Bogart got her to agree to an even longer deal, marriage, kicking off one of Hollywood's great real-life love stories. A symbol of their great love story, their wedding rings. They'll be part of a collection in TCM's upcoming auction. We're partnered with Julian's. It's called Legends, Hollywood and Royalty. The auction is September 6th through the 8th. The collection includes items from many of Bogart's films. Go to tcm.com slash Julians to learn more. Now, from 1944, also with Walter Brennan, Dolores Moran, and Hoagy Carmichael, this is To Have and Have Not. 